Well, today we're going to talk about BBE's Mindbender pedal. Now, the Mindbender actually started off with, uh, we had uh, an artist we were working with, uh, Will Ray, a uh, fantastic guitar player, and he was using a pedal, a vibrato pedal, and he uh, came to us and said, you know, I'd like to have a vibrato pedal that kind of emulated this one that I've been using, but it doesn't, you know, work all the time, and it's kind of a little sketchy, but could you make me a vibrato pedal? So I'm like, sure, we'll go ahead and start looking at some circuitry, uh, seeing what it was in his pedal that he, he liked, and uh, decided, to, well, let's just use some of these analog uh, bucket brigade devices, and just like all of those type of vibrato pedals, just modulate this uh, analog delay line, and you get this great, you know, vibrato effect. And as we're playing with this, I actually uh, have the, the vector board that we were using at the time here. Built up the circuit, started playing with it, and uh, as I'm looking at the schematic, I think, you know, it'd be really easy to turn this into a chorus pedal. All I got to do is feed some of the dry signal in with this modulated, uh, time-delayed vibrato circuit, and uh, it sh should work pretty cool. And so originally, had a little trim pot on there, and guitar players were coming around, and we'd swing it over to the vibrato side, they'd play it and go, oh, that sounds just really great. Okay, now let's slowly dial in some of the dry sound and get some of that coursing. And it really only sounded good at either extreme, either all the dry signal fed in, mixing with the vibrato signal, created this huge lush chorusing effect. And by backing it off slowly, it didn't really sound that good until you got all the way to the what was off, and then you just get this fantastic vibrato sound. So rather than a trim pot, just yank that out and put in a simple switch. And that actually is what ended up on uh, the mind bender pedals. We just put in a vibrato chorus switch, which is mixing in dry sound or the dry signal into the vib vibrato circuit and creates this just unbelievably lush chorus sound. We start looking at, okay, now we've got this circuit here, you know, great little vector board. You know, it's really a lot of parts on it. Now we've got to get it inside of this nice little metal box here. And so, again, like we've done with all of our pedals, we just let's get into this uh, military-grade fiberglass board. Let's get into the 1% metal film resistors here, lowest noise we can possibly get, high-voltage polyester caps where we need them. And, uh, boy, let's just bolt this thing down tight into here so that... When these guys are flying around on the floor, uh, you're not going to have these things fail on you. It's very important to us to keep these uh, pedals out on the road working for you. Um, another interesting thing on, on the story with this is bringing in all these guitar players and stuff. It really allowed us the opportunity to get a wide variety of opinions of what type of chorus they really found exciting. And so, you know, because uh, people are used to a wide variety of chorus pedals. Uh, some of them are very soft and subtle. Others are very, very swishy. And so we weren't trying to create anything just crazy over the top, but you wanted it to be a very full-sounding chorus, so you had to get just the right type of an oscillator to modulate this vibrato uh, circuitry, which also is running the chorusing effect as well. And there's different wave shapes you can use. You can have very abrupt square waves or triangle wave shapes where it very quickly transitions through the frequencies of the of the notches that you create when you're chorusing. Uh, we elected to go with more of a modified sine wave, kind of simulating when you just have like the vibrato arm on a guitar and you're moving it back and forth. You're kind of, it's, it's very sine wave uh, in nature, um, maybe slightly modified. And so it was trying to get a very smooth uh, movement of these notches in the chorusing or the pitch shifting in the vibrato circuit. And so uh, ending up with this modified sine wave oscillator to drive these bucket brigade delay chips ended up being quite uh, quite an effective tool for us to recreate what we really feel is an extremely uh, tasty chorus pedal that can also be turned into a vibrato pedal and that's what we have in the BBE Mindbender. <laughs>